hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so i did this new look on a mannequin um and this was my first time ever trying this so if you want to see how i created this look just stay tuned and keep watching so let's get right into it so i'm starting off with just the bare face of the mannequin and i'm just wiping it down um this is a kleenex a uh, Clorox wipe, Kleenex, goodness, Clorox wipe because I wanted to disinfect it before I started um, using my makeup and stuff on it and whatnot. Um, and then I completely erased her brows. So the way that I did that, I just used the Black Radiance um, True Complexion HD Corrector. Um, I used the red tone one and then I used more of uh, one similar to her skin tone. Um, and then I just set that with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to make sure that didn't move. Now working with wax and concealers and eyeshadows you'll see everything was very difficult especially because this is plastic so um, the way that I would say the easiest way to do it is to um, let the product kind of dry before you try to build it up because you want to create layers with the makeup um, because it's not like skin so it's not going to naturally absorb so you're going to have to you know work with it so i'm just using the morphe uh gel brow gel and i am creating some new brows for her i wanted to do something a little bit higher because i knew i wanted to do a bold cut crease like how you guys saw in the ending um so yes and then i'm just using my elf concealer in deep olive and then i used uh medium beige and i went back and just to really give her a nice brow bone highlight and i'm kind of doing her makeup like how i would do anybody else's makeup uh i wasn't really sure if there was like a specific makeup you were supposed to use i had been watching a bunch of tutorials on mannequin makeup and it just generally looked like everybody was just using regular regular makeup um but i will say it did last um but when you're sealing it use more of a thinner hairspray but we'll get into that towards the end but i'm just gonna let you guys watch this part so i am using the juvia's place eyeshadow palette and i'm just building up her crease and then you'll see me go in with the chocolates and add some depth into that as well and then i'm just going to cut the crease but yes all of that part is a little bit self-explanatory so i'm just gonna fast forward let you watch Right here, I'm just going in with my Morphe 0.00 concealer. It's literally just a white concealer um, because I wanted her base to be bold. I wasn't really sure which direction I wanted to go in when I was doing this look right about here. <laughs> I was like, do I want to keep it matte or add some glitter? But I ended up just, you know, keeping it with the bronzies, which I ended up loving. So I'm just packing that down with... Um, this flat top brush and then you'll see me kind of buff out that outer edge um this is pretty much like the same way that i would cut a crease on a human being <laughs> but now i'm just going in with the juvia's place warriors palette and i'm just using um, a mixture of all of the golds that's in that palette honestly um and then using the lightest uh like champagne gold in her inner tear duct um you guys know my trick always give it that base before adding glitter oh and right here i added a little bit of orange just because i felt like i needed some warmth you know fall time hello still in, in trend um and then right here i'm just going in with the new nyx mega wear this is their brown uh liquid liner and i honestly am obsessed with this liner um and the way that it dries down it just looks really nice i want to try this look on myself I definitely think I want to try this look on myself. Um, but yes, so I moved on to glitter after that. And I'm just using just some eyelash glue as my glitter adhesive. And this glitter, I get a lot of questions on it because um, I use it quite often. It's actually a mixture. I could not tell you where I got this glitter from. <laughs> I believe one of them is a MAC glitter and the other one is 
from Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, I just mix a fine glitter and a chunky glitter together. You can always make your own glitter combinations. But y'all, do y'all see me struggling with these lashes? <laughs> so putting lashes on the mannequin was probably the hardest part of all. Um, these lashes you can find on my website, hilariashade.com. These are in the style hottie. But when I tell you, it was the struggle to try to put these lashes on her. But the way that you make it look kind of sultry is just push them down a little bit. Um, and it gives you like that our bf face you know but then i'm just going in with her foundation shade she is in maybelline fit me 355 she is a nice coca mocha um and i'm just buffing that in just like how i would regular foundation same thing goes with the concealer um starting off with the elf hydrating concealer in deep cinnamon and then deep olive and i wanted to create a really nice bright under eye so then i went in with that medium beige same color that's on her brow bone and i'm just gonna buff all of that in just like so it seems so weird because when i tell you like in person this mannequin looks like a human and at the end you'll see when um my client whose mannequin this was for uh she put her wig that she sells um on the mannequin and i was just like wow that is one bad bit <laughs> okay she is fine but this was crazy. This was fun. Honestly, it was very therapeutic. Um, overall time it took, it did take a little bit longer because like I said, you have to let it kind of build up. So I would say um, about a little bit over two hours, maybe like two hours and like 10 minutes if so. Um, yeah, it's just because it's very tedious. Um, you know, it's motionless. So you can't tell it to look up and you'll even see like blending the lip was kind of hard because you can't, you know, tell her to not her lips together so that was interesting <laughs> but right here i'm just going in with some contour so i'm using deep ebony again from elf hydrating concealers if you guys have not tried these concealers get on the bandwagon okay like these concealers are bomb completely affordable do you see the coverage okay like come on just come on and then i'm setting it with um some kalahari setting powder from juvia's place as well um, and then I am going in with the Morphe Trailblazer Bronzer. Uh, took a little bit of the two shadows that are in the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place that are um, like that peachy and that um, orange color. And just mix them together as her blush. Um, similar blush shades if you were at MAC, I would say would be like Melba or Raisin, something like that. Um, but yeah. After that, I'm just dusting away her under eye bake, and then I did set it. You know, I was just doing these steps as if it was myself. Like, okay, what would I do if this was me? Um, and just praying that it came out good, which it, it came out decent. I'm going to explain to you guys how you fix some common mistakes that you'll probably run into. Um, and mind you, this was my very first time ever doing this, so it was very interesting, need I say the least. I decided to set her foundation with a face powder and I definitely would suggest you guys to do this too because it's plastic it's never going to absorb like just it's never going to absorb it's just gonna sit there on top and be all slippery so you definitely want to put some type of powder um, even if you're just using a translucent powder I feel like that'll work too um, as long as it's not one that gives like too much flashback but right here I'm just going in with a black liner and then I'm just taking those two shadows that I used in the crease and in the transition shade um, and just packing that over top of that liner because I do not want this to smudge over time, any of that. And then um, baby girl doesn't have any lashes so you know we had to put some bottom lashes on her. And this highlight right here is the Juvia's Place, the Tribe 2, just beautiful absolutely love this highlighter but yes back to what i was saying about the bottom lashes right here <laughs> i just popped on um i think like five bottom lashes um and if you want to know how i do these i literally just take a pair of um some fluffy or wispy lashes and just chop them up <laughs> use those as your bottom lashes flip them upside down um and use them on the bottom and i just feel like it just it's prettier because they're naturally going to be wispy, you know, as opposed to like individual lashes that are sold or, you know, kind of sometimes they might be a little stiff. We, we want fluff. Okay. We want fluff.
And then I'm just giving them a custom trim because they were just a little bit too long for my liking. Um, and here's the difficult part. So the lips, do not use a regular lip pencil and a regular lipstick like me. Save yourself the time and go in with a deep brown concealer um, as your liner if you want. Uh, and then using a, a lighter concealer. So we're basically creating the look of the ombre without actually using lip products just because it just it just don't work the same on plastic. Like, it does not work the same. Girl, she just kept looking like she had chapped lips and I'm like, this is not possible. So like, what is going on? And I even showed you guys in the video so that you could kind of see it up close. Um, but in the last video, I was able to fix it and I just ended up wiping off her lip and actually doing it with the dark brown concealer concealer and the lighter concealer to create the ombre but yes that is one way I would say to do this now if it were coming to colors I would just say to use um, matte liquid lipsticks um, that'll be your best bet just to get that smooth because she girl she is not mixing this together for you you have to do all the mixing but here is the completed look I think she came out pretty beat okay like cut me some slack I tried I think she looks pretty good. I know it can continue to get better, but we will. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell notification so that you are notified whenever I upload another video. I will see you guys in my next one. Yeah, yeah. On the day I'm